Welcome back guys, so uh, if you guys haven't noticed there's having uh, some team of the year players, I mean with every event we have uh, this kind of achievements, I got like a 1 by 7, uh, I believe it was uh, the yearly grind stuff uh, where I had to get like 100 team of the year points, now to get more team of the year points I can get 3 team of the year players in my lineup, so that's what I'm going to do. I mean, uh, if you snipe them cheap, uh, I mean, uh, the players, if you snipe them cheap, then uh, we would actually, uh, say, won't lose any coins and uh, these achievements at this point would be very crucial because, I mean, the extra points uh, that help them uh, get the players uh, earlier than, uh, I mean, everybody else does, I mean, of course, those uh, who buy the packs and all. Uh, they would obviously get a uh, lot earlier, but the faster we get them, uh, the better it is. Okay, so uh, this card looks amazing as well uh, with counter boost, uh, which uh, looks pretty great. And we need to get a couple more. And here we go. And the run of uh, center back. I mean, these are not uh, the cheapest five. Mansugic uh, is like the cheapest one, of course, because attackers came first, uh, they're kind of cheaper. Mansugic uh, would probably be the cheapest one. Then Mane, so Mansugic, uh, he's around uh, 350k. Mane, uh, what about, uh, again, Mane is also like uh, 370k. Lovren is uh, costlier, but I'll just buy him and I sniped him, I'll uh, sell him back quick. Uh, Ruse is like a 600k, uh, same with uh, same with this guy here as well, and uh, he's pretty good, I mean, I'm considering uh, keeping him uh, for my squad, team of the year is complete, I mean, uh, this guy has like, for a right back, uh, he has a marking boost, which is probably my favorite boost this season, uh, for defenders, and he has like the dives into tackle straight and all, so, I may consider him for my lineup and now guys uh, we get the first achievement team of the year guys uh, have three team of the year players I mean uh, we could wait for uh, later and do it as well but I believe that uh, it's best if we do it uh, fast okay, and guys having five team of the year players in our lineup it would give 50 team of the year points, uh, obviously I knew it, that's why I bought 5 of them instead of buying uh, just 3. Okay, so we go back to our team, we get the other 2 and they are uh, Manne and Mansugic has an amazing boost as well but I really don't like his uh, skill move. There we go. We got five of them in there, and which means uh, we complete another quest. And here we go. Have five team of their players in your lineup, and with that we complete another uh, session of yearly grind as well. You can see our points going up. That's very nice. I mean, with this it means that I can continue uh, getting. Uh, more and more of those uh, I can complete uh, the all 20 points more okay midfielder points 32 defender is 39 and attack is 29 uh, all is decent I mean uh, decent distribution of course I would prefer all to be defenders point because that's what I'm going for but yeah it's uh, always nice okay so guys, and next uh, we are completed four by seven. So now there is like uh, three of them left. One would be in 500 team of the year points. And guys, that would give you 250 team of the year position points, which would be uh, very nice. I mean, we could probably get like 100 of one. Uh, I mean, not all 100, uh, not all three would get 100, but maybe the one we need, we could get 100 and that could again uh, help us. I mean every point it uh, helps a lot and guys uh, so that was the fifth uh, achievement or the fifth task there are two more left one would be having one team of the year starter player in your lineup obviously i don't have the coins to buy a starter yet but um, i will get one from the event and then i'll complete that then there's one more guys 
uh, if you complete all seven, we'll get the elite nominee. And the other one is having three team of the year starters in your lineup. Obviously, uh, not possible for us uh, just by playing the event. We will have to buy them from the market. If you have guys have enough coins, could buy them from the market and then uh, sell them back. Okay, uh, I mean, if you snipe them, it would be possible, especially towards the back end of the event. Uh, all of these uh, should be like a lot cheaper, and you will unlock the max 96 overall as well once you get it. See, what I was talking about is you can see uh, you get about like uh, say that's three there, so another three there, that's six, and another six from this. That's 12 points and 12 points will get you 3 and 3, 6. Up to here uh, you can get with 12 points and that's 6 and that's 60 points and if you have 8 extra points then that allows you to get uh, 40 more points to complete this. Now you can see I got about 132 extra points and that helps a lot which means uh, for a few more days I mean that is I have this much because I waited for the first few days and I waited for the defenders to unlock and I'm doing the defenders only. If I was doing the attackers, I would not have uh, this much left. But having these uh, left, which means I can keep uh, doing these for a few more days to come and which would allow me to get the players uh, maybe before uh, many others do. And guys, as soon as the more people get uh, them, their price goes down. I mean that is with the price of like an 86 mana is like a 370k because almost everybody got them. I mean that's how this works uh, obviously. I mean the Grease man is like uh, he's already less than uh, 2 million coins so the price uh, for Neymar was uh, 2015 to 20 million earlier and he's below 10 now and by the time the free to play players get, uh, get to this note as far as I know, the free-to-play players are uh, getting like this at the moment. So they haven't uh, got this for sure. Uh, it would take uh, them two to three days more to get this one. And by then, guys, uh, by then, the price would definitely fall further. If you guys uh, want to buy the players, the best time would be towards the end of the event or Towards the time when the free-to-play players get the player, uh, that would be when the players would get the cheapest. So buy when uh, the free-to-play players get them. If you want to sell, then uh, sell before all the free-to-play players get them because the prices obviously fall uh, when all the free-to-play players get them. So how can you uh, make it faster? Uh, I mean, if you buy any of these packs, it could help. Uh, but in a, a better I mean, if you have gems saved up, uh, buying that pack would be nice. If you had, uh, say, FIFA points left from previous season and all, I mean, last season uh, we were able to get them uh, from daily activities and all. Uh, it was a good time. So if you have them, then you can uh, get these points, which would, again, uh, allow you to collect these and complete this every time. So, guys, all the best and... I mean, obviously, if you have some pack luck, uh, then from those uh, packs, we could get much more. But if you guys don't have too much of pack luck, then this would be nice. And again, uh, doing those objectives uh, or the quests, again, that gives some, co the, some points and that would definitely help as well. Even the points for this one for completing 500, uh, those position points should also help. Thanks for watching, guys, and wish you all the best. And... Hope you guys uh, got good uh, choices in them. Bye-bye.